Hello everyone. Welcome to tutorial on database cards or in SQL. In this tutorial, we will try to know about what is cursor and how to use cursor in SQL. Database cursor. A database cursor is an object that enables traversal over the rows of a result set. A cursor can hold more than one row but can process only one row at a time. How to work? First, declare the database cursor and then open database cursor and then face the record from cursor collection. Then uh, we need to take a decision if database uh, cursor is not empty then it will go back to take the next or next uh, cursor item here empty then it will go to uh, to take the to, to face the next one and if the cursor item is empty then it will go to uh, close and then deallocate the cursor. SQL syntax declare then cursor name then cursor keyword read only first forward for select column 1 column 2 then column n from table open then cursor name face next from cursor name into variable 1 variable 2 and finally variable n while at at face status equal 0 means our uh, cursor is not empty then begin end for while loop inside the beginning we can write our uh, logic and then face next from cursor name into variable 1 variable 2 and then variable n finally we need to close so close then cursor name and then deallocate cursor then deallocate cursor name so let's take a look in SQL query window to take or to have a simple example to explain how to work cursor or how to we use cursor in SQL. Here we have a database for payroll management DB and we have a table for employee info. So, if I select from employee info, uh, um, select star from. So, here our result. So, I just want to iterate, um, or I just want to create a cursor for this table and I just want to um, populate this employee info employee data um, into HM table by using a um, cursor. So let's go to create a, a cursor in SQL. So I just want to uh, create some uh, variable first. Declare declare sorry declare at first name in burger its size 50 and then last name and your size 
copy paste 50 and then email email and mark up 50 and then gross salary salary um, decimal well, its size 18 comma 2 this is the variable these are the variables so I just want to create a temp table create table and temp temp employee info and here's column I just want to use this column like this column so we do not need uh, add symbol before the column name so this is the uh, time table I just want to uh, drop the time table if exist so paste it drop table if exists so this is the temp table and this is the temp table creation uh, query so now I just want to declare the cursor declaration declaration of cursor so declare cursor cursor employee and then cursor keyword and then first forward first uh, read only first forward read scroll only For read only first forward For forward then for for which column uh, for which value so for now we need to select from uh, employee info select which value from employee info I just want to select first name comma last name comma email comma gross salary so here we just uh, read the value from employee info table for this cursor employee cursor so I just need to open the cursor first open cursor so open cursor here we need to give cursor name and then paste the next cursor face next from what is the cursor name here cursor employee info employee paste next from cursor into I just want to populate the cursor values first name last name email and gross salary into uh, our local variable so into 
or local variable uh, first name these are all so we do not need um, just need it to by using email gross salary so into all of this uh, variable so uh, here we just have uh, put the value into the variable now um, we just want to uh, use while condition and I just need to uh, check the condition for face status at AP APT CA space status face status equal zero then begin end inside begin end we need to write our query our logic our logics so i just want to insert uh, select the uh, variable value so select all of this variable values here and these values i just want to insert into uh, insert into insert into our temp table what is our temp table here the temp table so uh, this is temp table this value will be populated or inserted into temp employee info and then we need to get or we need to uh, face the next uh, cursor value so this is the next cursor values and we will insert the value into our variables so here we need to put this so here the uh, next result from cursor uh, cursor, cursor employee and then finally we need to um, close cursor close cursor sorry cursor employee here and then we need to de deallocate cursor deallocate and our cursor name these are all but i just want to select from our temp table result now select from temp table data so select store from our temp table so uh, first I, I i declare the variables first name last name email and cross salary and this is the temp table that I have declared here and then I declare the cursor and I just want to uh, face the record from employee info first time last time email and cross salary and then I just open the uh, cursor cursor employee and then uh, face, uh, face the record from cursor and and these uh, records are populated into our local variable first time last time and email 
so here the while condition and here I check for face status while zero zero means our uh, cursor uh, cursor items is not empty when cursor uh, status is not zero means that our cursor collection is empty so here our logic and this condition always six and and it will uh, be a loop so finally we just need to take the uh, uh, next uh, value next value next row next item from cursor, cursor em employee and then we need to close cursor and deallocate cursor and here I just want to display temp employee info so uh, execute this section wow this is the cursor result from temp employee info our cursor working fine and here we can see cursor always work on uh, a single row and that um, can be performed by using face next so in this way we can use a cursor in our sql query to iterate or to uh, populate information from one table to another table or we can um, implement here the logic um, like insert or delete or update or anything anything so here we can use our um, logic to implement that we have expect so thank you keep watching the next video thank you again